What's up YouTube, it's Onion Bomb here and welcome back to another Better Call Saul reaction video. Today it is episode 4 of season 4. The last time we got uh, you know, Gus you know, covering up uh, you know, him exposing Nacho and it, killing his that one guy, uh, so they made it seem like they were a, a, one of their cars. They were just hit, uh, and they had to shoot Nacho twice, and uh, Nacho and everyone had to pretend like he he was shot, uh, by and, and like he didn't know who did it. Uh, Nacho did survive. He took it to that one vet guy that Saul uh, Saul uh, sees from time to time, which he also saw. Uh, Saul sees Saul 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 <laughs> Saul Saul the guy um but he fixed up Nacho but he did not want to do that he was like this cartel <laughs> this cartel shit is too much which was funny but things seem to be going Gus's way and uh I the think they got away with it so now Nacho uh Nacho is like kind of secretly a double agent for Gus but Hector is still in a coma, so uh, I don't know how long he's gonna be. Uh, I know he, he at least somewhat wakes up at some point. And at the end, we saw uh, Kim actually gave the letter that Chuck wrote to Jimmy to him. Uh, I was a little surprised. I thought maybe that would be like something that Saul finds himself. Or at least like not be. I, I think she just hit that like a few episodes ago if not last episode, like before, like not last, like two episodes ago. So that was interesting. Um, he read it. He wasn't moved by it. He wasn't, like, he didn't really kind of poo-pooed it off. Um, and like, there were some nice wordings in it. It was nothing that I didn't really like expect though. Uh, so I, I could kind of see how Jimmy could take that. as just like kind of like, hollow words but he did he did write it for him though kim though got emotional by it she started crying um i have yet to really uh understand why and maybe it was just something that just indeed got her emotional uh, that that chuck was writing that to jimmy or maybe there's like a little like maybe she was crying because jimmy doesn't really care and how like well, dang their relationship really was kind of broken um, I don't know. We'll see if that gets touched upon. I, I something's coming though with Jimmy and uh, the uh, like. You know, something's kind. Jim, Jimmy, I think is gonna like break down at some point over Chuck. Um, so yeah, let's without further ado, let's see what uh, what happens next here. Is this the uh, the church thing Mike is helping with? Oh, that was. You wanted me to talk, young Mike. I talked. <laughs> Dang. So that was his son, Maddie. I I thought that was like modern, and that was. Mike or someone. When they zoomed out, I knew it didn't look like Mike, but I thought so. I thought it was like just a worker or a volunteer. I mean, So that was a, uh, a Gus deal. Interested, would like to offer you a position at our uptown branch. Sorry, uh, my plans have changed. I'm not gonna be able to take that job. Yeah. He's denying another job. Me too. It's a real shame. What is going on with that, bruh? This is all about him being affected by Chuck, but like not showing it. He's not ready to work yet. Maybe you should talk to someone. Yeah? Yeah. I got a name. He's not far from here. I've heard good things. 
thought you'd give him a call. It's a shrink? Well, thank you. Um, just, uh, have to, uh, I have to check out my schedule and almost forgot to tell you. I got a job. Really? Yep. You're looking at Albuquerque's newest mobile communications specialist. I'm a shift supervisor even. Be very impressed. Cell phone sales. I I'm selling cell phones. Mr. Finn, James McGill, listen, I've been thinking it over and I just can't pass up this opportunity if the position is still open. So he did, he just, so now he took it for the, okay, so he definitely, he doesn't, he definitely doesn't want to like talk about the whole uh, Chuck thing. I don't think he wants to think about it either. Maybe that's why he also shrugged off the letter. It's just like, he's trying to just, just pass, oh, I'll pass over this. Uh, Miss Wexler, do you have a matter before the court today? No, Your Honor, just observing. All right. Then you would like to see your chambers at the next recess. In the first place, the state was prepared to charge this case with you know, for delivery, and there's a mistake with the anesthesia. The baby is delivered fine, but the young mother suffers serious brain damage. And she's left comatose on a respirator. The family is naturally devastated. And they're broke, so they have no way to pay for the young lady's care. And to make matters worse, the hospital refuses to take responsibility. This is the plot of the verdict. Yes, of course it is. Because movies are the only place where those once-in-a-lifetime cases exist. You know what I got coming up next? I got a janitor who <laughs> threw his pee on his boss. <laughs> she stabbed her boyfriend over a grilled cheese sandwich. This is the real world, Miss Wexler. <laughs> when you find any save the broken lawyer case. Hey, grilled cheese, that's serious <laughs> business. First, to probably discover they're not the mob. We've got perpetual PD overload. So beware. Next time I see you lurking in my court, I'm going to put you to work. Understood. Address defense's motion to disqualify opposing counsel. So is Kim, Kim losing the interest in the law? I mean, not the interest, but the motive. Oh. I've been thinking about reaching out to Henry. I think he needs a friend. Every time I see him, he seems worse. Henry's fine. You talk to him? Don't need to. Then how do you know? Because that dead wife he's always talking about never existed. What are you talking about? It's an act. Why would you even say that? The guy's story changes every time he tells it. The romantic Ooh. night at the Cubs game, their first kiss. Yeah. Never happened. You can't know that. Wrigley Field didn't get lights until 88. There were no night games before then. Oh. None of his details add up. Oh. Well, maybe he just got the year wrong. Oh. Oh. Story like that. Tell. Like a bad poker player when he's lying, he rubs his wrist. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You want to put your money where your mouth is? Well, you gonna come to group tonight? Oh. Make it interesting. All right. Ten bucks says that when he talks about Judy, different story. All right. You're on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little, little slow. Yeah, that story's always been a bit calmer. Just bring a book. So this is a normal weekday. Mostly. Now he just breaks the window. Uh, you have to really whip that. See, 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 see. Good last minute, done as far as. Es el que nos sacó de la carretera. Nos juntamos. Nos enfocamos esta noche. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't take care of this right now. But who are these people? Hey, because they didn't do anything. Hey, amigos. <laughs> amigo. Oh. Whatever this crew is, they are done. Fucking son of a bitch. Oh man. Man, nachos going in one hand, injured. Oh. Wow. Someone have a grenade? <laughs> Ooh, he's out. Oh, it is the same place that they showed at the beginning. Ooh. Oh. How did he get behind him? Is the other one wasn't in the building? I swear they were both in the building. Dang. <laughs> oh, I hope Nacho is all right. A doctor said they have like a oh, like an infection he can get and like he die and. Oh. We cleared out the Espinosas. They're all done. And the Salamanca brothers? Marco took a hit, but he'll pull through. They went back south until the heat dies down. Espinosa territory is up for grabs. The cartel can't give it to the Salamanca, so... I think they gave it to you. Get some rest. You have more to do. Willow, you hadn't guy? quite finished. Got herself ready for school. It was just a regular morning. I made... French toast for breakfast, and we talked about the self-pasting toothbrush she's making for the science fair. Why I noticed it just then, but I hadn't thought about Maddie all morning. Not once. When I was making French toast, why didn't I remember that it, it's his favorite? I think about Maddie every single time I make breakfast, but not today. And they weren't just minutes. There were hours that I didn't think about. What if I lose the sound of his voice? What if I forget him completely? I mean, I know I won't. That's like impossible, but... I don't know. I'm just... Thank yeah. you, Stacy. You're not alone. Truly. I mean, it might be painful, but if, if you ask me, I'd say... It's progress. This room have felt the same things you're talking about. I know I have. I keep trying to get there. You know, to live in the here and the... I know that's what Judy would have wanted, but it's hard to me. But money was tight. Finally, we were going to go for our 25th, and uh, 
that's when she got her test results. Look. Mike, uh, do you have something you want to add? Oh, no. Oh. You don't want to hear what I have to say. <laughs> no. My. <laughs> no, my. <laughs> I. I. Uh, uh, I, 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 I know, like, he's probably right in the line, but, and, like, he just had, he's heard, like, <laughs> his daughter-in-law just had this emotional thing about his son and, like, him making stuff up, but why? <laughs> Bruh, Mike. I, I, I didn't expect Mike to, like, call him out like this. Guy was never married. What are you talking about? Mike, no, you know the rules. Yeah, I know your rules. He's been coming in here for months, selling you a bill of goods, getting you all misty-eyed, and loving every minute of it. Stop. That's just not true. Yeah? Okay. So I'll go to the public library, and I'll get the papers from 1997, and I'll run a search on Judy DeVore, the loved wife of Henry DeVore. Tell me I'll find her obituary. She wanted to go to Australia? Last month it was Cuba. Oh. Come on, Henry. Let's look at the papers, see if the math works. Oh no. I hope he's right. I hope he's right. Talk. <laughs> I talked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then Mike was never allowed back again. <laughs> uh, I mean, the guy, like, if that guy really, like, faked that just for, just to be there for, I don't know, whatever, the free food or just, uh, just to get, like, be at, with a, get attention, I, I don't know. But shout out to Mike for catching that on. That, that, that. Oh, Nacho's dead. Oh, I hope this is Nacho. Whoa, whoa, this is, uh, more than we talked about. Yeah, Bavarian boy made quite a splash at the Collectibles Expo. Bidding war. Wow. Oh, great. Well, we both oh, we yeah. kept most of this. I would have never known the difference. Yeah, well, you could have left me high and dry. I'm liking this Hummel thing. <laughs> We're going to do this again. I'll find something. Sounds good. <laughs> When you do, call the vet. Yeah? Yeah, new job, new phone. You never know who's listening. Never know who. Did he get authorized to paint on the windows? Or is that, is that part of the job? Did they ask him to do this? I think it depends on what he is writing. Oh, is the man listening privacy? Okay, so he's using that as a selling point. Though, I come at that, did he get authorized to do that? Kind of with the uh, Davis and Maine. If sales go up, will they forgive though? It is a phone company. You want to see me? Here I am. In order for our arrangement to continue, there is a matter we need to discuss. Nacho Varga. I wondered when you were going to get around to this. You came to me. You asked for a favor. I said I wouldn't kill Salamanca. I never promised to be his bodyguard. <laughs> you want to make a move, you better make it. 
But they're not gonna, are they? You brought me here because you have an ask. So why don't you stop running a game on me and just tell me about the job? Ooh. I as episode four of Better Call Saul, season four. Pretty good one. I liked what we saw of Mike this episode. I am exposing the the one guy at the at the meet uh, for faking having a uh, a dead wife, which is crazy. I did not expect him to expose it for in front of the entire like crowd. Uh, <laughs> But uh, that was that was cool to see. I do not know if he'll be going back or he'll be allowed back. Um, I sure hope that Michael uh, did have his facts. I don't know why I call Michael that. I sure I sure do hope Mike has his facts right. Uh, by the sound of it, by the way they did the scene, I think he does. He did. Man just kind of ran out the uh, the uh, the room. Um, but that would be kind of crazy if, like, he came back with, like, the the most evidence and just all kinds of proof that he did have this dead wife and, like, Mike got it wrong. Um, that would be very unfortunate. It's funny, though, and seeing Mike at, like, you know, that uh, marigold and, like, just, like, kind of yelling at everyone, like, like, like <laughs> telling them, like, correcting literally everything. Uh, and at the end, Mike was like, if you quit playing the game on me and just tell me the job, like, like, Mike, Michael is him. He is that dude. Shout out to Mike. It was kind of sad, though, in the beginning, seeing, like, the old, like, flashback with him and Maddie, even though we didn't even really see him. And then, like, seeing him, uh, as, uh, the, the uh, the daughter-in-law, uh, kind of like said she had a morning like not thinking about him and seeing Mike like sitting there next to her that was kind of that was sad to see as well Saul though is not trying to go to any sort of group talk to any shrink about Chuck he is trying to be over that it seems um so much so that like he denied a job and then Kim Gave, gave him the shrink number and said, oh, he can't do it. I guess he got a job and he called back and they think the job was done. Um, or he got the job. Uh, but we'll see now he painted on the, uh, the windows uh, about privacy. We'll see how that goes. Are they going to find out about it? Um, the one guy said he was going to swing by, so I'm assuming he, he will find out about it. Is that going to uptick the sales? Maybe. And what does the... Are they going to forgive? Are they going to be like, yeah, go on. Or are they going to be like, you got to take that off. Or maybe even just fire him. It doesn't seem like something they like of not being authorized. But who knows. With, with businesses, companies, if it makes money, who knows. And Nacho, see, still, he's still feeling his injuries, it seems. Uh, the per people, the group that they blamed on the attack that wasn't even really an attack, uh, the Salamanca, the, the brothers, absolutely ran through them. Uh, apparently one got hit. I didn't actually notice it. Um, but they, they're laying low for now. Um, I think that's Gus's territory now, so... All part of guys of Gus's plan. Gus being a mastermind with that. Nacho going in there like one-handed and like weak. Like, dang, Nacho is kind of a warrior too. He showed up at his dad's house. He was about to call the the uh, not police, but the ambulance and but uh, get him to the hospital. He looked pretty bad. He sounded pretty bad. I don't know if it's the infection he, the doctor was talking about. I'm a little worried about that. I think he needs to go see somebody. Um, some doctor or whatnot. Um, I, I don't know. Gus needs to do something about that. It's, it's, he, he wants to use Nacho. He can't use him if he's dead. Yeah, gotta give him medical help somehow. You can, you can do it. <laughs> Pull some strings somewhere. 
Oh, and he found, uh, he found out, uh, Mike, Mike fi found out that Gus found out about Not Drill. They ain't going into details about that, but Gus has a job for Mike, and I'm excited to see what that is. I'm gonna wait and see. And see what go what's going on with Kim. She was kind of observing a, uh, a court today for no reason. Um, not really feeling the law anymore, maybe. Um, I don't know. We will see. Also, I'm waiting on Jimmy kind of, you know, showing some emotion about Chuck at some point. I feel like it's coming. It's building up a bit. Um, it'll probably happen at some point. I am excited for more to see what what this is Mike and is inquired about by Gus. Uh, and see how Jimmy, you know, is going to have his cell phone company. How is he going to, is he going to get fired or is he going to be employee of the month? And why is Nacho going to make it out of this? I'm, I'm definitely worried about him. Definitely. But for now, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like or dislike. Subscribe or unsubscribe. No, it's always up to you. I will see you guys in the next video you watch with me. Goodbye. No, it's all about me just doing my thing, yo Cause I'm loving what I do and I won't change, no I feel blessed I could do this every day, yo